making a peanut butter sandwich. Uh, take one. Take one. And action. <gasps> right. Uh, welcome. This is Red Fork Empire. How to make PB and J the right way. Let's see. You have your bread, your jelly, and your peanut butter. Uh, the kind of bread and peanut butter do not really matter that much. The jelly, of course, has to be specific Concord grape jelly. Any other jelly, you're not doing it correctly. Um, let's see. A knife. Oh, right. So, the pieces of bread. You select two pieces of bread. Not the first one. The heel stands by itself along with the second piece. You don't take the second piece either. It's the next two that you take, and they have to be the, the next consecutive two. So that when they are together, they form up. So when you take them apart, they're like so. And so you have your two pieces of bread. Two magical, wondrous pieces of bread. So the first is the jelly, and that is on the right side of the as I said, the jelly doesn't matter which kind it is, but unless it is not Concord grape. Concord grape is the only jelly to be used. So, and the consistency is important. You want to lather it all up. It'll take just a little bit. In the beginning, you can take your knife, and almost like a palette knife, you're spreading it around, making sure you don't go over the lines of the bread and you want a nice you want to start with a nice film of jelly make sure it's all nice and spread out evenly Good. little corners there we go don't go over don't go over we need a little we need a little bit more oh not too much not too much Oh, that's, that's, that's fine. Every little piece of bread. It may take you a while to use the knife as well, but it's practice. I think that's enough. Nice spread. Now, now, next, with the knife, you have to clean it so that it does not, your jelly does not get into your peanut butter. So you use the second piece of bread to wipe the knife off. So you have that, that tiny, tiny bit of jelly underneath that peanut butter. Now the ratio of peanut butter to jelly is you want a little, a, a bit, I like, I like a lot more, but you do need more peanut butter than jelly. Uh, the reason is the adhesiveness of the peanut butter, that little bit more will keep the jelly where it's supposed to be, in a controlled area. You want your jelly going all AWOL on you. And just like the jelly, you gotta make sure Get all the sides. Don't go over. That creates jelly fingers, and we don't want jelly fingers. We don't want peanut butter fingers either. But jelly fingers are the worst. A little bit more peanut butter. It can be a little. You can always take it off and put it back. Be a little generous with the peanut butter. Get a consistent layer. You don't want it lopsided on one side. It's almost if you're painting with peanut butter. But just like anything in coloring, you have to stay inside the lines. I think that works out. Right. Quite clean the knife off. 
you don't want too much on there, so I'm going to cut it. Then, so, now it's always, the peanut butter then goes over the jelly. You have to be very, very careful about this. Oh, almost perfect. So they, these match perfectly. Push that a little bit, get that adhesiveness to work. Then, cut it. This, completely wrong. Triangles, I don't know what people were thinking, but it's always down the middle. Can't, not this way, that's insane. But the triangles, you don't get the, the maximum biteage is what is why you do it this way. And this, this just by itself is barbaric. You don't have enough hands for that. I mean, some people do, but that's not for them. Then, right there, use the knife to separate them. And then if you do have a little bit of spillage, Use the knife and you clean, clean each of the edges so you get it nice. It's very even on the little surface. There we go. Then you serve that however you wish with a little, maybe a little garnish. So there you are. Peanut butter and jelly the right way.